Uh, in this video, I'm going to discuss about the applications of mesomeric effect uh, under the subtopic mesomeric effect. I've already uh, discussed about uh, what is mesomeric effect in my previous video. Let's see its applications now. The application, the mesomeric effect is used to explain the acidity of phenols, acidity of carboxylic acids, basicity of enolins, acid stability of carbox carbocations and stability of carbanions. Before going to the uh, acidity of phenols here, let's understand what are phenols here. Phenols are nothing but the hydroxy benzene. It's nothing but a hydroxy benzene where the OH group is attached to the benzene ring here. Yes, uh, let's now look at the acidity of phenols. Uh, what, is, what are acids? <coughs> the acids are nothing but the proton donors. Uh, we have already read about this. Uh, uh, the substances which are able to donate the protons are nothing but acids here and the phenols here can donate the protons here. So it's an acid, acidic in nature. And this acidity can be explained based on the stability of the phenoxide ion and the phenols here. So it can donate the proton resulting in the formation of phenoxide ion and the hydronium ion here. And these phenols are acidic. Why? Because the phenoxide ion is more stable than phenol because of, and this can be explained based on the mesomeric effect. And so the res, uh, equilibrium will shift towards the re, uh, right side, shift towards the phenoxide ion side because the phenoxide ion is more stable than uh, phenol here and the stability can be explained based on the mesomeric effect or the resonance. If you look at the resonance structures of phenol here, yes resonance structures of phenol here, there are five resonance structures which are possible or the canonical forms and the OH is uh, electron releasing group that is <clears throat> plus M group, it will release the electrons into the system. And as uh, and uh, and uh, five resonance structures are possible for phenol. And this is the resonance hybrid here, which is uh, shown here. And, we, and as you can see that there is a charge separation, which is present here. There's a partial negative charge. We can see on the ring and the partial positive charge on the OH here on the OH here. So uh, there's a charge separation because negative charge uh, in some uh, in, uh, in the part of the molecule and the positive charge in the other part of the molecule. So there's a charge separation here. And when we look at the phenoxide ion here, when we look at the resonance structures of the phenoxide ion here, again, there are five resonance structures which are possible here. This is donating the electron density into the ring. And when we look at the resonance hybrid of this phenoxide ion here, there is a charge distribution or the charge delocalization, which can be seen in the phenoxide ion. The whole molecule is sharing the negative charge here. There is no charge separation. And because of this very same reason, the phenoxide ion is more stable than um, phenols. Uh, then, uh, yeah, phenol, yeah, when we look at the resonance structure, I mean, the resonance hybrids of these both, both the structures here, there's a charge separation, which is seen here, and there's a charge delocalization or just charge distribution in the phenoxide ion. And because of this reason, phenoxide ion is more stable. And so the equilibrium is shifting towards the right side, resulting in the proton donation. And if it's a, a a proton donor here, we can see that if it is donate a proton here, then it acts as an acid. So phenols acts as weak acids. <coughs> yes. And, and the acidity of carboxylic acids can also be explained based on the mesomeric effect here. And this is an acid RCOOH. Uh, and, and we have just now seen that if it's a proton donor, it's an acid, it can donate the protons here, resulting in the formation of carboxylate ion and hydronium ion here. And again here, uh, this, um, the acidity of carboxylic acids can be explained based on the mesomeric effect because the carboxylate ion is more stable than carboxylic acids. Uh, and this can be explained based on the resonance effect. 
let's see the resonance structures of both these uh, carboxylic acid and the carboxylate anion here and this is the acid here and uh, uh, carboxylic acid and this is an anion here when we look at the resonance structures uh, of both these there are two resonance structures which are possible for carboxylic acids and there is charge separation we can see here see there's a positive charge and here is a negative charge so there's a charge separation again see here and there is a charge delocalization the negative charge is shared by both these oxygen atoms here uh, so there's a charge distribution or delocalization in the anion uh, and one more thing we can if we clo closely observe the structures you can see that there are equivalent resonance structures which are possible for carboxylate anion here the structures are equivalent when we look at the position of the nuclei here uh, c o o and r we can see that they are equivalent the oxygen atom is sharing the negative charge here and here it's sharing here so they are equivalent resonance structures two equivalent resonance structures possible here and there are two non-equivalent resonance structure which are possible here this is because if you look at the resonance structures here they're not equivalent there's plus and minus charges here there is no such charges seen in the first structure so for these two reasons here carboxylate ion is more stable than carboxylic acids so it acts as an acid here yes they can donate the protons and it can act as an acid here yes so if you look at the resonance hybrids of both this charge separation here and there's a charge distribution here and the, there are equivalent resonance structures which are possible here and there is non-equivalent resonance structures which are possible here as such there's a carboxylate anion is more stable than carboxylic acid so the equilibrium is shifting towards the right side so it can donate the protons easily it can donate the protons easily the acid uh, the acid can donate the protons easily so the carboxylate ion is formed easily here so uh, carboxylic acid is a acid acid is an acid so we can as well compare the acidity of phenols and carboxylic acids based on the mesomeric effect here see when we look at the resonance structures of these two there is a uh, we can see that there are only one oxygen atom which is carrying the negative charge here and there are two oxygen atoms here only one oxygen atom and there are two oxygen atoms which are sharing the negative charge here so we know that the more neg electronegative atom sharing the negative charge is more stable. In both the cases, the oxygen atom is carrying the negative charge, but here there are two oxygen atoms, here only one oxygen atom. So for this reason, the phenoxide ion is less stable than carboxylic ion. And one more reason is when we look at the resonance structures for the carb uh, phenoxide ion here, there are five resonance structures which are possible, but all these are non-equivalent. When we look at these structures here, so there's non-equivalent here. These two oxygen is not, not having the charge and these three having the charge here. So these are all non-equivalent here. But when we look at the carboxylate anion here, there are two resonance structures and are, which are equivalent resonance structures. So there are five resonance structures which are possible for this are five and here are two equivalent here five non-equivalent even though the number of the resonance structures are more here when compared to that of the carboxylate anion here since these are equivalent for carboxylate anion this is more stable when compared to that of the phenoxide ion so uh, the equivalent resonance structures, I mean, the resonance, the, reson the molecule having the equivalent resonance structures is more stable than that which is having the uh, non-equivalent resonance structures. Even though it has five, it is less stable because the resonance structures which are possible for carboxylate anion is equivalent here. So because of the two oxygen atoms carrying the negative charge and two equivalent resonance structures possible for carboxylate anion, carboxylate anion is more stable than phenoxide ion. So 
carboxylic acids are stronger acids than phenols carboxylic acids are more acidic than phenols because a carboxylate ion is more stable than phenoxide ion now let's see the effect of inductive effect and mesomeric effect on the acidity of phenols and carboxylic acids here yes if you see that <coughs> the plus m and plus i groups will decrease acidity why this because this uh, and minus m and minus i groups increase acidity yes when we look at the uh, for example the nitro group here it is an electron withdrawing group that is minus m effect group yes this is a minus m effect group it will decrease the electron density on the ring it will decrease so uh, if it decreases electron density on the ring it's decreasing the electron density on the oxygen oh oxygen which is donating the proton so oh bond dissociation becomes easy here it can easily give away the proton here so it it is more acidic when electron withdrawing group or the minus m effect groups are present on the ring it will make the oh bond dissociation easy because it will decrease the electron density on the oxygen so it can easily donate the protons if it can easily donate the protons it can act as an acid so what are acids the proton donors if it able to donate the protons easily it acts as an acid so minus m and minus i groups increase the acidity so orthonitrophenol is more acidic when compared to the phenol because the nitro group which is electron withdrawing group or minus m effect group is present on this is minus m effect group is present on phenol so it is increasing the acidity of phenols on the other hand if plus m or plus i groups are present for example the plus i which is uh, ch3 for example it will donate the electrons into the ring into the ring onto the ch uh, onto the benzene ring for example onto the benzene ring it will donate the electrons into the ring yeah when there is a plus m a plus i group like uh, uh, ch3 group here uh, it's a plus i group it will increase the electron density on the ring yeah if it is uh, it will increase the electron density on the ring as such so it will increase the electron density on the oxygen also so it will decrease the bond dissociation of oh the bond dissociation of oh becomes difficult so it cannot donate the uh, uh, proton easily so as such it will decrease the acidity so plus m and minus i groups uh, plus m and plus i groups decrease the acidity and minus m and minus groups increase the acidity it will be it can be explained based on these following examples here yeah <laughs> now based on this mesomeric and inductive effect let's uh, <clears throat> put these in an order of their decreasing order of their acidities let's put these compounds uh, in the decreasing order of their acidities let's if you look at the acidity of phenols or uh, orthocrisol uh, orthonitro phenol and orthochlorophenol <coughs> yes and uh, yes this uh, methyl group we know that it is an plus i group and nitro group is an minus m group and this one is minus i group so we know that this minus m group will increase the acidity because they will decrease the electron density on the oxygen and the oh bond dissociation becomes easy so the proton can be donated easily so orthonitrophenol is more acidic when compared to that of other phenols here now let's look at the acidity of orthochlorophenol here now this is minus i effect so this will also withdraw the electron density from the ring 
making the board dissociation of OH easy, but the inductive effect is less than mesomeric effect or mesomeric effect predominates over the inductive effect. So this is more acidic when compared to that of chlorophenol. So orthonitrophenol is more acidic than orthochlorophenol. Then comes phenol here because H has no effect here. And when we look at this uh, CH3 or uh, 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 CH3 at the ortho position here, orthocrizole, there's a plus I effect here. So it will re release the electron density in, on, into the ring, making the OH bond dissociation difficult because it will electron density on the oxygen is increased. It cannot uh, dissociate easily. It cannot donate the proton easily. So this is less acidic. So this is order of the acidity of the phenols based on inductive and mesomeric effect. Yes. <clears throat> now, when we look at the acidity of a uh, few of these carboxylic acids here, this is <clears throat> the first one is, yes, acetic acid, uh, chloracetic acid, formic acid, and this uh, nitro substituted acetic acid here. Again, the same order follows this uh, nitro is uh, minus M group, it will uh, withdraw the electron density from the ring, so thus increasing the acidity of the uh, acid here. So the, uh, this one, nitro substituted acetic acid is more acidic than chloroacetic acid, and this uh, chloro group is minus I group here, and as mesomeric effect predominates over inductive effect, chloroacetic acid is less acidic and then comes the formic acid because H has no effect here. And then comes acetic acid, the CH3 is an plus I effect group. It will increase the electron density in the system, making the bond dissociation difficult. This is the order which is followed uh, in the acidity of carboxylic acid based on the inductive and mesomeric effects. Yes. 